We got more news out of uh, North Korea. Uh, this time, you know, more threats. They're going to apparently uh, start a great war. It's going to be the greatest. They're taking a playbook out of uh, Trump's uh, you know, hand here, trying to make it seem like they are way bigger and tougher than they actually are. Just like Trump sending his armada, uh, he said that like a week and a half ago. Still isn't there. It's the USS Carl Vinson. Should be there in a couple of days. And, uh, so, you know, uh, uh, what's happening around the same time? They're thinking that North Korea will test a nuke around the same time. And yeah, that's what a quinky dink that is. You got the armada coming around the same time. It, you know, it's almost like... It's staged or something. I don't know. It's at you know maybe it is maybe it isn't, but uh big old Kim here, Kim ain't playing around. He wants to sink the USS Carl Vinson. All right, he's not playing around. He ain't been playing around. Anyone who says he's been playing around is a liar. All right, because th look at this man, this man right here. He's asking like what what is that thing? Why is that ship sinking? Well, sir, that's a sub. Don't uh, kill that guy. Kill him. Kill his family. Send his third cousin to a concent concentration camp in North Korea. I'm I'm done playing. Kim is not playing around, guys. All right, he. <laughs> God damn it! I <laughs> the fucking Kim, dude. Kim, what are you doing? What are you doing? Oh God, Kim. I I just don't understand. How do leaders uh, of different countries in different worlds, people respectable, you know, classy, uh, probably completely corrupt and, you know, pieces of shit. But uh, you know what? At least they you know, usually carry themselves pretty well. How do they look at Kim, you know, Kimmy boy here, and, and say, okay, you know, this, look at this guy. I mean, he's doing all right. He's not bad. He's like 250 pounds. He needs a chair. No one else gets a chair. There's literally no other chairs in North Korea except for Kimmy boys here. And, and this is a guy who wants to make threats to the, you know, greatest military force that the world's ever seen. And, you know, what's scary is th this is a perfect situation where something's going to happen. That's fake. Something's going to happen. Uh, and it, it, it cr could, could create such a large war. And this is, you know, North Korea is making threat after threat after threat. State-run propaganda, their media, the same chick that's been doing it for 30 years. That's fake. They've been, you know, spewing it out day after day, and I just don't think Trump's playing. I, you know, there's a couple scenarios here, and I think that two are more likely than the third one. I'll, uh, you know, put out. But one, all right, uh, Trump's gonna send his armada. Uh, the USS Carl Vinson's gonna show up. Uh, a, uh, they will test a nuke or another missile. Um. And Trump will respond. I don't see him not responding. Trump uh, doesn't seem like a type of that type of guy to to say he's going to do something and then not do it. You know, this guy seems like he follows through. Whether you know, for better or for worse, uh, he doesn't. It, like the last administration, the Obama administration, just kind of like you know, we saw a lot of backpedaling. We didn't see as much action. Uh, you know, it, they weren't as proactive. It didn't seem like. At least you know. To, from face value but trump seems like the type of guy you know he's gonna follow through with this shit the second scenario to me is kind of like it's the same scenario except for this is like this is completely planned all right the 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 globalist and the elitist and the rich and powerful they need another big war like this you know it, i i feel like we're gonna we're getting to a certain point especially with like social media uh you know uh the just the direct communication of, of different people around the world where it's harder and harder to hide atrocities and uh, these backdoor deals, this, corru this corruption. And I feel like they, they need us to take a step back, right? They need to find a new way to control us like the cattle that we are. Uh, and it's... Now, a big-ass war like this, like something something big would need to happen. Either a strike on Seoul... Uh, the sinking of the USS Carl Vinson, something big would have to happen, you know, and it would have to look like uh, good old Kim, Kimmy Boy, our favorite poster child for diabetes, uh, you know, would start it. So that's option number two. Something, something terrible happens. Uh, North Korea seems like they're the ones responsible, and then, you know, the uh, rest of the world reacts to that. And the, th the third, which I think is the least likely but most hopeful scenario, 
is that, you know, all this is, it's just, you know, a bunch of baseless threats on both sides from Trump and from North Korea. They end up being brought to the table. Maybe China steps in and says, well, okay, we don't necessarily need a big war. This isn't necessary. And brings both parties to the table. And we, you know, we hopefully get North Korea to stop making nukes. The whole world shouldn't have nukes. U.S., Russia, uh, you know, China, everybody. No one should have nukes. We should do the way like South Africa did back in the day and get rid of them, dude. You know, but it's just that's that's the least likely scenario in my mind. It doesn't, you know, Kimmy Boy needs to run his country, <laughs> and people, you know, they don't really like him. The people who you know are in the government that understand what's going on, um, if they you know don't agree with them, they get killed. They get you know they get killed. Their families get killed, and um, it's just it's a scary situation. And uh, you know, we're, it's coming to a head the next couple of days. You know. It's something we're really going to have to watch because right when that strike group, you know, gets in there, it, anything can happen, especially if they test a nuke. If we get word that they're testing a nuke, hit the dirt because that's probably the, you know, final straw. And at that point, uh, I, I believe President Trump would order some, some sort of strike. And it, it's just... The thing with the strike on North Korea is you can't just hit the nuclear sites because if you just hit the nuclear sites, I mean, the DMZ is littered with artillery, and it would take days of strategic bombing to take those out. And, and Seoul, South Korea and our troops in uh, South Korea don't have days. They don't have that time. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's really a scary situation that we got to sit on and we got to pray on, and, um, you know, it's, it's coming to a head, guys. It really is. There, there hasn't been. We haven't been this close to a major war like that uh, in a long, long time. So we're definitely going to have to keep our eyes peeled and our head up, and uh, you know, follow this situation. Uh, it's, it's getting pretty crazy.